Hello YouTube, want to do something I don't normally do and that's kind of a movie review. I normally don't do these because I just, everybody has a different um, different opinion of their movies they watch and books and things like that. I do them occasionally but I don't really like to but I'm going to make an exception in this case and it's, I'm, it's going to be a movie I'm surprised you've never heard of and it's called Washington's Armor. It's actually a three part series and the first part is known as the journey what this is I mean, to say it's independently filmed uh, it's, it is independently filmed it's a low budget film and normally when you hear something like that you tend to think of the cheesy crap that the sci-fi channel used to put out or those stupid hallmark christmas movies that make you just want to just absolutely stick a grill in your eye That's kind of what you're thinking of normally. Um, I was a little hesitant at first because I watched one of the trailer, the previews, and some of the behind the scenes where they're talking about it being about about faith and about a little bit about Washington's religion or religious beliefs. And I personally, I don't want to get a preachy movie, and it is not that. Um, don't let that shy you away. It does mention a little bit of Washington's faith, but no more than what you saw in. Uh, the Patriot, or some of these other movies, so it really isn't anywhere near um, as bad as you might think when you hear something like that. And for a cat, being a movie that has a cast that I've, I've never seen anybody in, I've, these are all relative unknowns, but they're, they're good. I mean, the, the, the acting is actually very good. Uh, the movie itself is excellent. The movie is Washington's early days prior to the French and Indian War. And it starts with him being ordered to um, go Governor Virginia to go to go basically go to talk to the French because the French are encroaching on British lands. And he takes with him a man called Christopher Guest. And these are all real people. There's nothing made up here. Christopher Gist accompanied Washington, and it took 77 days to make this journey, and it was very hard. They went to the Ohio Valley and in, a, in the French territory, and they came back, and it was, it was not easy. Washington had a rough time of it. I'm not going to go into too many details, but it's, the journey covers it pretty well. And then it moves on later into the next year, and it leads up to what's known as the Battle of Jumonville Glen. Which was more or less the unofficial start of the French and Indian War. It was, the, it was essentially what led the French to more or less declare war on the British and get the ball rolling for the French and Indian War. And they used reenactors, um, the, the uniforms, everything was top notch. As far as history standards go, yeah, there's a little bit here. It's not overly done. It's not overly dramatic. It's not stupid action scenes like you see in Hollywood. It's ex the movie action scenes are excellent. Um, overall, for for a film that was shoestring budget, it's excellent, and I recommend recommend you watch it. The only way you're going to find it, I believe, is to order. I don't see it anywhere. I doubt highly you're going to see it at your um, at, at Netflix or anything like that. So you, if you go, I'll put a link to the website where you can go and take a look, and you can see all the previews. You can see there's they have a lot of videos up, so you can watch the trailer, you can watch the making of, you can watch a lot of the historical facts behind it. But for the time period, it is an excellent movie. It re it's and I'm I can't wait to see how part two, and then later on how part three come out. But um, I recommend it wholeheartedly that you give it. It's 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 a, for again. It surprised me how good it is. It it really is an excellent movie. And with that being said, YouTube have a good day, and I hope you check it out.